Caught in the crossfire, stray bullets from shootings in Durham are impacting innocent families on nearly a daily basis. Tonight, CBS 17's Crystal Price investigates where some of these bullets have landed and the message victims have for city leaders. I've lived in Durham. I've never seen it this bad. This is really bad. Judy Edwards says it's not unusual to hear gunfire at her apartment complex. That's just right across from the Durham Police Department. When I saw the police department across the street, I said, oh, wow, we're going to be safe, son. Wow, that was not true. As it was one night last September when she came home to find this. I saw a hole in my curtain and I pulled it back. I said, oh my God, somebody shot in my window. A stray bullet had flown into her bedroom window right over her bed. And I was shot just right across the police department. I don't know where does that happen. The officer said, you're lucky because if you was it, you'd probably been dead. Over the last couple of years, I've reported on dozens of incidents in Durham. <laughs> Where stray bullets have hit homes, businesses, and cars. I wanted to find out how many times occupied buildings and cars have been hit by bullets. So I reached out to the Durham Police Department to find out. They told me this is something they don't track. So I did my own digging. Using a spreadsheet of shooting events provided by the Durham Police Department. I used those case numbers and looked up every single report of vandalism involving a shooting from 2020 through September 2021 on the city's open data website. I printed out and reviewed every report. Some of the places hit by bullets, a doctor's office, a food bank, and a youth career center. In the heart of downtown Durham, bullets also hit a luxury apartment a new office building, and even the Durham Police Department's headquarters was hit by a bullet last September, costing the police department $4,000 in damage. None of the reports specify if these were stray bullets or if the shootings were intended. But out of the 467 reports I reviewed, there were at least 11 occupied cars and almost 100 occupied dwellings that were struck by bullets from January 2020 to September 2021. I'm just fearful that we're not doing too much to stop it from happening. Reverend Jerry Christian Jr. shows me six bullet holes on the side of Russell Memorial CME Church on South Alston. This one is the one that ricocheted. It damaged the church's internet box, putting them out thousands of dollars. This cannot go on when bullets are hitting a safe haven of God's house. Do you think city leaders are doing enough to address the problem with gun violence in Durham? No. I, will, I wish I could say yes. No, we have new officials. The meet and greet is over. It's time to cook the meat and put it on the plate and do what we need to do. This stat is 2020. I took these stacks of reports to Durham City Councilman Leonardo Williams. Until we start to see a decrease, and, and shootings and killings, we're going to keep trying new things. One of the new things City Council is planning to fund is the gunfire detection technology shot spotter that alerts police every time there's gunfire, something that's expected to increase response times to shootings. But Councilman Williams says they must also invest in addressing what's causing these individuals to pick up the guns in the first place. I'm interested in a multitude of ideas and solutions that is going to address directly what I have in front of me right now. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. And I have in my hand all of those 467 reports that I reviewed. And it's important to note these are only vandalism cases over the last two years. This doesn't include incidents where someone was actually shot. Well, amazing research, Crystal. Mm. Did police have any comments on what they're actively doing to address this? Yeah, police were not available to comment on this, but Chief Patrice Andrews has said before the department has created a centralized unit focused on investigating shooting incidents, and she says it has helped them clear more cases in 2021. That is some wow. terrific reporting and also so disturbing at the same time. 97 occupied dwellings. It's yeah. incredible. Wow. Crystal, thank you. Thank you.